Shut up and sit down. Hey folks, this is Tony Day. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take your Fuji F-Log footage and get it into ACES. This is a relatively simple process. There's several different ways that you possibly could do it, but this is the way I find, I find to be easiest uh, for people to get into ACES workflow when you do not have an input device transform. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll explain very briefly. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so here's our footage. Thank you, Pascal, for supplying us with this. And what we're gonna do here is, uh, again, we're gonna just get this into ACES. I'm not gonna show you how to do a specific look in ACES. That's up to you to do whatever you want. Um, the point of this is just to show you how to get into it, okay? So I'm gonna build uh, four nodes. And this one we're gonna call IDT. Last one we're gonna call ODT. All right, so in an ACES workflow, basically, you need to have an input device transform and you need to have an output device transform. So uh, this here, the IDT, needs to be provided by a um, manufacturer to get into ACES properly, okay? So if we go into the open effects panel here, I'm gonna get this ACES transform, I'm gonna throw it into the IDT. Now, if we go to input transform here, you're gonna see that there's no Fuji log. Okay, and there's quite a bit of devices that do not have a transform. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna pick one of these and transform our Fuji footage into that color space. So uh, we're gonna pick red wide gamut log 3G10 because it's a very wide color space and it also um, log 3G10. It's just, I, I kinda like this, so I usually pick it. Also, um, it's not very uh, helpful, in my opinion, to have to pick between like daylight and tungsten and like, you know, all these different choices for like Canon, for example. So it's nice to have just this one choice. So that's what we're gonna pick, okay? We're gonna pick red wide gamut log 3G10. And uh, as you can see, it doesn't look right, but don't worry. And we're gonna, for our output device, we're gonna pick Asus CCT, okay? And then on this one over here, the ODT, we are going to throw another Asus transform. We're gonna go from Asus CCT into Rec 709. Okay, so this doesn't look right. And the reason is because we're using red wide gamut. So in order to make sure that this is proper, uh, we need to use a color space transform to get into the proper color space and gamma. So we're gonna pick here for the input color space, we're gonna pick Rec 2020 according to Fuji. Their color space for Fuji log is Rec 2020, so that's what we will pick. The input gamma is gonna be Fuji F log. Output color space, we're gonna choose uh, red wide gamut RGB. And the output gamma, we're gonna choose red log 3G10, okay? Leave these unchecked. So, now you can see that we're exposed a bit high here. Um, I'll go ahead and do an exposure adjustment. Okay, so that's our basic exposure adjustment. We could of course do more, but that's not the point of this, okay? Um, so we've got our exposure adjustment. Now you can kind of see more how that transform is uh, working here, okay? So now I'm gonna just do a very quick look um, so that we can kind of move forward just to get a completed look for you guys. All right, so this is basically our uh, look here. So, you know, um, obviously you can do whatever you want with it, um, but uh, if you are working in ACEs, just know why you're doing it, because uh, it's different than working in a lot of other kind of workflows, such as using a LUT workflow or using even the Resolve Color Management or Red IPP2 gamut mapping and stuff like that. Um, ACEs is different. It operates in, a, in kind of a different way. And in order to do it right, for example, um, you should not be doing any work after the ODT. Otherwise, it, you're kind of defeating the purpose of doing it. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're doing uh, your grading. And uh, yeah, so this should work fine for you. Uh, I've, you know, this shot and several tests that I've done it with, it works perfectly fine. Um, so. Yeah, uh, let me know if this works out for you. If not, uh, please let me know. Um, and uh, maybe uh, we can uh, find a way to help you out, okay? So uh, thanks for watching. 
and I'll catch you next time.